welcome. It's the 27th of February, 22, 27th of February, 27th of March of January. Wow, I'm way off January, not February. Okay. Okay, so let's fix that. Okay, only made a few times that mistake. So 27th of January, and it's Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Topics, action items, Debian 12, Google Summer of Code, and we'll skip pull requests of note this time. So on the Debian 12 without JDK 11 topic, uh, JDK 17 or open JDK 17 uh, will be available for, for Debian 12 when it releases in April or May, 2023. Open JDK 11 will not be available uh, for Debian 12. They're dropping it because Debian 12's life, lifespan, I think will be longer than Java 11's end of support. They don't want to end up supporting it themselves after others have stopped, stopped. So what that means is the docs SIG has decided that beginning in, in at the release of Debian 12, we will switch to document Linux installs with Java 17, not Java 11. Now we'll still continue to support Java 11, but we want to have a single document that describes the installation process, no matter which version of, of Debian or Ubuntu Linux you're on and using Java 17 is the simplest way to do that. Okay. That's any questions there. Um, so is it because like, uh, it's backwards compatible. That's why like, uh, if, I, if we have 17, it's like, it automatically works for 11. Correct. So Java JDK 17 is already fully supported. Already fully supported with Jenkins. Has been supported now for many months. So so this isn't actually any any alt, any change of support or anything. It's just which one we document. Okay. And that has, has been since at least 2.361.4. I think it's even 2.346.1. Okay. So it's not a, this is, this is only a change of documentation. Now, upcoming, the day will come when Jenkins will eventually stop supporting Java 11. Uh, but that hasn't been decided yet, and uh, I, I more discussion is needed. Okay. All right, Google Summer of Code. Let's take that one next. How would you like to approach it, Chris? Um, maybe. Um, should we go through some of the like the partial ID pages? Let's or, do. Yeah. Yeah. Should we go to Jenkins style? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Sub project Google Summer of Code, GSOC 2023 project ideas list. Okay. Okay. Any particular ones you'd like to look at more closely? Um. Maybe. Uh, let's see. I think this time we should look at an other one because like last time we looked at um the alternate boot tools yeah the booting jenkins and all that right uh -huh. so we looked at last time so this time we may be a look at another one okay we, i mean we could do we could do plugin installation manager tool yeah. improvements we could do others it's probably better if we do items that i'm involved as a mentor yeah i think so yeah or well, screenshot automation Okay, do you have choose one? Okay, so I'm gonna pick plugin installation manager tool because that one for me is while it's 
it's approved, I think there's more for us to discuss and identify and consider. Right. So, so here, for instance, what this just says is improvements to the existing tool, but does not suggest mm -hmm. suggest specific improvements. Yeah. So let's let's look at some of those and see what they are. And I think we ought to extend the project definition to to specifically highlight some of those tools, some of yep. those improvements. Yep. Okay, so now I assume we probably want a text editor so that we can exactly. write some words. Yeah. And so let's bring up my text. Where'd it go? Hmm. Where's my MOBA X term? My favorite text editing tool. Apparently, I killed it. Okay. Okay. Here it comes. Add plugin install project details. Yep. Okay, so And 2021, 2020, where is our, well, maybe I'm going to have to go all the way back to the up top. File. Yeah, let's just green. do this and we'll grab that page. Green. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I thought I saw content. It. Yeah. Projects. GSOC. Yeah, you have those. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just a minute. Okay. Content. Projects. GSOC. Yep. 2023. Ideas. Plugin installation manager tool. Okay, here we go. Right? Yep. Okay, so now back to our back to our recommendations. Okay, so quick start, clone the project, run the tests, run the run the tool for various plugin combinations. Yep. Try some edge cases to see what could be improved. Good. Okay. Okay. All right, so now back to our document. All right, so it was created and it's been improved and now it works well inside the, and there's the suggestion for some ideas. Okay, so. This one is probably a good first issue. Okay. And that's that's something we can help the newcomers with of flagging things that are good first, good first. Oh, whoops. Do we have a good first issue tag? Okay. Oh, we do. Okay, good. Oh, so we have to refresh a page. That's why. Yeah, I'm I'm a, more accustomed to them getting that one right without me needing to refresh. But yeah, okay. So now add support for file protocol. 
use update the Jenkins war. Yeah, actually this list of enhancements. So this one, for instance, I like a lot. Okay. And I think it's a, so, so there, and I'm not sure I'd call it a, a plugins lock file as much as I call it a plugins.txt file. So, okay. but let's, I would say we put that one in. And so uh, key improvements, identify priorities and plan, propose the areas for the improvement, work with mentors to plan those improvements. Some candidate ideas from the mentors include Uh, generate plugins.txt file from existing directory. Okay. Is that a fair way to say it? Yep. Okay, and we can pri sort and prioritize these later as we get. Okay, so show progress bar while downloading plugins from plugins.txt. That one feels like a good one. Show optionally show show progress bar during download. Okay. Okay, then add a short list option. What is that? Mm. Uh, no, I'm actually I'm not even interested in that one. Okay, option which lists installed pl plugins filtered by only the plugins not installed by another. That I uh, I'm not I don't even understand what they're asking requesting. So I no. Okay. Okay. Keep comments on the text export. That's an interesting idea. Okay. Is there a way to retain the comments and somehow associate them? Interesting. Okay. Retain comments when creating new file from existing file. Okay. List skipped plugins. That I like that one. Okay. okay. Support the file protocol. Oh, that that one was already. That's a good first issue. Yeah, I think so. So yeah. we should probably put that into the. Let's see. There's already. Yeah, here it is. Oh, oh, yeah, right. So it's already it's already going to find that one. Okay. Okay, support for the file protocol. We already talked about that one. CL, CLI fails with incorrect plugin dependency minimum versions. Uh, no, okay, this is just a user misunderstanding. They're missing a flag. Oh, okay, okay.
yeah, this is just the user is mis misunderstanding. Uh, you okay if I make an update here? Yeah, sure. This is a user misunderstanding. The uh, plugin installation manager tool installs the most recent version of a dependency unless the most unless the more, most recent compatible most recent version of a dependency unless the and now i need to find the option just a minute while i bring up my command line okay no Okay, the option we need is, oh, hmm. I don't know what the option is. Jenkins version, latest. Ah, yes. Minus, minus, latest, false. Right. Now, wait a sec. Set to true to download latest transitive. Yeah, I think this is the one where we want. Let's do. I could do a quick check, but I believe we want minus minus latest false. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, close. All right. So back to our issue list. Okay. Proxy. Proxy basic auth. I don't know if I, I'm not a big fan of proxies, but okay. oh, oh, that's a good one. Here's one, right? So this is a really good one. Okay. This one is split the command line to command split the command line options to subcommands. So and here it's let's get that in there. Okay. So Or maybe it's I should I'm I'm not persuaded add subcommands to the command line interface command line arguments options arguments. Okay. So and this one requires a design and definition a definition and design of the subcommands okay. and how they should work okay and their meaning 
behaviors. Great. All right. So back to our list of possible issues. Okay. Here's an interesting one. Log the suggested mirrors for download. Okay, but I see no, no resolution on it. So, okay, yes. So, report the mirror URL on download failure. and original URL. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay, here's some discussion from Oleg on the idea from 2021. Okay. Yeah, that was special edition, but should I do Okay, so this is calendars with the Zoom link. Okay. Doesn't help us. Okay, so no recording. I have one to okay, it's a long one. Uh, let me see if it's in the Jenkins YouTube channel. Just a moment. Okay. Well, I it is right here. Okay, good. April 13th, 2021. Okay, very good. So this is one that's a good candidate for us to link to and even to embed into the uh, into that page, right? Because now I have I need to to watch it to see, but he's got I'm sure there are ideas there. Yeah, okay. You okay if I put that in as an embedded video? Yeah, sure. All right. Now, where would we put it? Um, oh, background? here we go. How about here in background? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Additional background information may be found in a video um, recording from 2021. And here it is. Now I have to find the syntax, just a minute. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's what I need, is okay. this magic. And then I replace a few characters with a few other characters. Okay. Okay. So we've put an embedded on that discussion topic. Very good. All right. And this one really, I don't see any reason to leave it open. Closing okay. issue since the recording is available okay. at, oops, um, there. Yeah. Close as completed. Okay, good. All right.
yeah, this is this is just a okay. User wants something different than it actually does. All right. Yep. Do not fetch plugin versions easy, eagerly. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So that one, that one is an interesting one because Docker containers have have a specific problem here improve image caching for docker container builds improve uh plugin dash versions caching for container builds and i'm not sure how you would do that because the cache needs to somehow be outside the container yeah but but I think it's an interesting thought. Okay. Okay. Add option to ignore bundled plugins. Hmm. I don't. I don't understand the 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 question. Okay. Right. All right. So we'll continue. Mm. Okay. I don't understand the, the proposal here. Okay. The current plugin installation manager treats requested and dependent plugins identically. It seems like that's correct. Neither are downloaded if it's already installed and the required version is less that's correct but change to download a requested plugin even already installed use the version calculated already using requested mm. Hmm. Does it mean that like some plugins have dependencies, or is it not really the case? Plugins, plugins do absolutely have dependency on other plugins. Yeah, you bet. Mm -hmm. And so what this is saying is, if I read this correctly, it's there are duplicate downloads of the same plugin. But if a plugin is a dependency, so. 
I, I'm a little, I'm quite surprised at that. So this this one is worth testing and seeing if that is in fact reality. So um, do only download a plugin once, once per session. Okay. Test if still an issue. There. Okay. If there are any errors? It will exit. The image won't go. I'm talking to create a fan. Oh, okay. See, I think, okay, my take on my my idea on this one is I don't want the plugin manager attempt plugin installation tool manager to attempt to be a database. This yeah. is asking for rollback, right? And yeah. if you want rollback, there are other ways to get rollback. Yep. Okay. So I I don't I don't don't particularly want that one. Okay. This one feels like a reasonable one though, right? Show updates for. Yeah. Allow security warnings. Report for only specific plugins. Okay. Or only specified plugins. Okay. Yep. All right, now back here to where we were. So we've we've been through several of these. Plugin manager is losing plugins installed in previous images. Oh, oh, this they want to. No. I don't understand if this is resolved. Mm. It's not obvious. Okay, so um, based on the earlier comments that this is resolved in newer releases of the tool, okay. I'm closing it. Okay. okay, good. Thanks for your patience with this, Chris. Okay, so on to the next page of, of possible issues. Add option. Yeah, we we looked at this add option to ignore bundled plugins and I didn't get it. Okay. okay. Next. Optionally skip plugins listed in plugins.txt on latest version. Okay, close tabs to the right. Updating all current installed plugins to their latest version. I don't understand it, okay. Updating all currently installed plugins to their latest version. Okay, so they're not current. I run this, they become, okay. We have to check the update center. Yeah. 
we need it. I, I don't understand that. Is there more information in the JIRA issue? It says it was resolved in this change. And that was resolved in 2019. So I'm closing this one. with what change number 44 okay. oh, oh oh you know what i can put this no why can't i i'm in a milestone no no that's not it hmm okay so Resolved with number 44. Okay. Here, let's make it easier to read. There. Okay, good. And I can do that. Okay, continuing. Support Maven repository. I don't understand this concept. HPI files are not in the Maven repository. Okay. So how will that help? At least as far as I know. Okay, double checking. Okay. Find dot m two repository minus name star dot HPI. Oh, well, surprising. Okay. There are some in there. Yeah. Why would they be in? Huh, interesting. Okay. Let's look to see how many of the Git client. Okay. There are quite a number in there. Yeah. So not a bad, um, not a bad idea. As a way to use another lo a local disk, a local cache, right? This is could reduce downloads. Yeah. Okay. Cache. Read. HPI files from Maven cache. If found there. And now that is an interesting one. Oh, four J. Ah, okay. This one, I think I understand what they're what they're requesting, and this would add additional logging levels, right? So for diagnosis. Okay. Add allow multiple logging levels, allow logging to be increased and decreased, mm -hmm. uh, increased for debugging and diagnosis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Reasonable way to describe it? Yep, I think so. Okay. Some features are slightly fragile. 
security oh security warning should be shown by default yes i agree okay yes i like that <laughs> that's that's a good show security warnings by default there we go I feel like we've got a good list, Chris. I think we do. Yeah. That's quite comprehensive, or that's quite lo longish enough to start. I, well, and and there also some of them are a good good thing for a new contributor who wants to try something to say, "I'm going to try one of these. I'm going to try show security warnings by default." That's probably actually a good first issue. Yeah, I think so. So, so that's. Maybe what we do is put that one. There seems to be no real reason for this to be disabled. I agree with that. Okay, good. So okay. I'm going to actually label it good first issue. Good. All right, Chris, thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's see. Let me submit this. Well, let's read it first, just to be sure that I didn't make some terrible mistake. You type in extra six. What's that? You type in extra six after the last link you added. There's an extra oh, six. Oh, thank you. Yeah, right there. Okay. Link to the video. Remove an extra blank line. And then our list of candidate issues. Okay. Good. All right. And I'm going to take that one out because we made it a good first issue. Okay. All right. So add video and list of issues, possible issues to idea. Plugin installation manager tool, project idea, needed more, more details. Those details are now included in the page along with an embedded video. Uh, from 2021 discussing enhancement ideas. Okay. All right. So let's first see that it looks okay for us. Make run. Yeah. So thrilled. Zbigniew Konechny uh, implemented Ruby 3.2. And so it's it's now running a modern version of Ruby. Cool. And a modern version of Node.js. And so nice updates. All right. So Mark PC2, this one. Uh, oh, come on. Answer me. There we go. It's here. Okay. Now. Sub projects, Google whoops, sub projects, Google Summer of Code, GSOC 2023, plugin installation manager tool improvements. Awesome. Oh, that's tiny. That needs to be bigger. Yeah, Why is nice. that so tiny? Okay. Oh, I didn't start it in my editor. Okay. Get grab video. Ah, there it is. We need to give it a height. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here too. Right. Okay. Or a width, not a height. Yep. There we go. Width of 640, center aligned. Extra, yeah. 
explosion back in. Okay. That's much better. Now look at that. Okay, yeah. That's a lot better. So I think we've given some, some additional ideas. Now I've still got to schedule a session with those who are interested. Fryam, I believe, said that Fryam was interested in mentoring this one. And so I've still got to do that. But this gives us a good a good start, I think. Okay. All right, Chris, thank you very, very much. Welcome. Let's submit this pull request. Okay. So title should be um, Extend Plugin Install Manager Project Idea. Submitted. Thanks, Chris. Welcome. All right. I'm going to stop sharing and we'll call it done unless there are other topics you'd like to discuss. Um, don't think so, no. All right. Thanks for your time and thanks for your help improving it.